Um, why don't we go right to the uh, to the advice the advice page? Um, I actually responded to this person in print. I actually emailed them back, but I have to read this to uh, to all my listeners just in case someone else is in this situation. All right, okay. The guy writes, "Good morning, sunshine." I like that when people started off nice. You know, every once in a while, get a nice good morning, sunshine, instead of instead of hey, read this, you cunt. Um, anyways, uh, let's, 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 let's read this, shall we? Are you ready? Okay. Gather around everyone. Um, I guess I'll just cut to the chase here. Very nice. I appreciate that. Um, I've been with my girlfriend for about two and a half years now. Oh, Jesus. Um, the last two years, uh, uh, two of those years, we've been living together, sharing bills, rent, etc. cetera. Jeez, this sounds like a nice situation. What could go wrong? The whole serious relationship oh, – the whole serious relationship thing. Um, we've had our ups and downs, but for the most part, the arrangement is working out for the better. I have a roommate. I can fuck without things getting awkward. <laughs> we both make the same amount of money, and we enjoy many of the same things. So here's the problem. She's going to start nursing school in about six months. This means she can no longer work at all leaving me to pay for everything. I wouldn't mind doing this if I could afford to, but I can't. So she has decided that she wants to move in with her parents again um, for the two years she's in school. She's invited me to move in with her and her parents. Just pausing here so every guy listening to this could be like, oh, my God, don't do it. Uh, Move in with her and her parents so that I, too, could save some money. I don't want to move in with their parents, though. Yeah, Jesus, there's a shocker. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, they're great people and all, but come on. I'm a 28-year-old man, and I can't imagine living under somebody else's roof, no matter how cool they are. When I was kicked out of my parents' house at 18, I had to couch surf with friends' families until I was able to support myself. From that point on, I've enjoyed the independence of having a place of my own to call my home. Um, even if I had roommates it was partly my place and i could feel comfortable doing as i pleased in a house of my peers my girlfriend thinks i'm being unreasonable she says it's an ego thing maybe it is is that so wrong though am i the only one in the world that doesn't want to live with with uh with his girlfriend's parents because of this of this situation her and i have have been discussing um how moving out of the same house would affect our relationship and if we should continue dating. Ah, oh, God. All right. There's a lot of layers to this. Okay, first and foremost, you referred to your girl, girlfriend as a roommate you can fuck. So um, this doesn't sound like the girl you want to spend the rest of your life with. But just in case you just wrote that shit because you were trying to be funny, you know, make me laugh or something, other podcast listeners, let's just take this – let's just take this – at fucking face value and say, this is the girl that you want to spend your life with. Um, dude, don't move in with their parents. It's not what you want to do. You're not going to be happy. And, you know, you have every right to say, I don't want to, I don't want to move in with you in your parents' house. You know, and I'm going to tell you right now, she is going to do everything that she can to try to mind fuck you into thinking that you're being a selfish piece of shit when actually she is being the selfish one. That is absolutely fucking ridiculous that she thinks you as a 28-year-old fucking man, not married to her, you know, who can financially support himself, is then going to fucking go move in with her goddamn parents? Tommy, would you like some eggs? You're going to go back to that? What did I tell you about leaving leaving your, your fucking... Sneakers near the Davenport. Dude, fuck all of that. Fuck all of that. Stand your ground, okay? Now, this is what, like, women have, like, I think, like, five or six different ways that they can co- try to convince you. And it's all done with emotion, okay? They have this sweet way of doing it. They could be like, no, you know, it could be, it could be nice, you know? Get to know my parents better. You like my parents, right? Blah, 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 blah. All that type of stuff. Or then they can go the childlike way. Well, you thought it'd be nice if you moved in with me, right? They can use sex. Come on, it could be fun. They got that big bed downstairs, right? 
Or they can go to anger. Actually, they go to us crying. That's another one. I don't understand it. If you love me, why would you move in with me? With my parents' house. I don't understand what the difference is. And then finally, anger. Okay? Now, anger always comes fucking last, as far as I know. They might go back to tears, but you have to understand that when you get to anger and they start pushing your buttons where they say shit like they start challenging your manhood, it's an ego thing, uh, yada, 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 whatever the fuck they want to say. This is where every guy loses an argument with a woman. You have to understand that when a woman gets mad and starts just pushing your buttons – 